Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young with Hearing Solution Centers, and today we're going to talk a little bit to the physicians. And what we're going to talk about is how physicians and patients interact related to hearing loss. Coming right up. Okay. So I want to explain a little bit about the physician relationship. Do you have a general practice or a GP physician? Now that GP is dealing with ear infections. I mean, she could be having ear infections, then she has a toe infected, she has a, a cyst on the back that she's going to remove, she could have um, an eye issue, sicknesses, she has to know a lot about all these different medications, the interactions of the medications. I mean, she's got a very, very busy day, incredibly scheduled day with, with staff around that are helping her out to do the job that she needs to do. And so it becomes an issue that, you know, most patients, they, they don't always ask all the questions that they need to ask. And it's, it's a really powerful thing. But when the patient asks a question about, is my ear okay? The first thing that physicians do is they will look in the ear and see, looks okay to me. And you think, well, it's fine. The reality is the physician's just looking at the ear canal up to the eardrum. And so if she sees a reddened eardrum, a pussy eardrum, or something kind of crazy in there, well, she's going to prescribe something to help take care of that. But she's not going to be able to see all the things that could go wrong with it. And frankly, you know what? That's why we have specialists like audiologists. That's why we have specialists that deal with neurological issues, specialists with, with shoulder problems, and all these other people that are out there to help take care of some of the detailed areas that you want them to focus upon. And the audiologist is about that kind of area to help deal with this. So there are two basic types of hearing losses that come out. One is called sensory neural hearing loss, and the other one is conductive hearing loss. Now, how can the GP know the difference between the two of it? They can't. They, they, they really can't. That's why we do evaluations. And so when you, as the GP, are thinking about what that hearing loss might be, you, you really need to do a couple things. Now, if you have the ability to test in your office, there are some cool testers that you can kind of do and say, hey, there's a screening ability and there is a problem or there isn't. That's really the best thing that to do. And if, it's, if there is a problem, then you want to refer off to the audiologist and let you know, him or her do that, that extra work. Okay? And, when you, and then they're going to find out if it's a medical problem. When we get medical problems. I mean, we get physician referrals all the time in our Tulsa office. And I mean, just you know, plethora of stuff. And one of the things that we do is we'll evaluate the hearing. And if um, you want to be in tr control of that referral to that other physician, we're happy to let you, let you be involved with that and say, hey, wh what do you want to do with that? Or if you're like, just take care of that patient and do the right thing. That's what 90% that's what of our physicians do. But we always write a report and we do a full report so that you know exactly what happened to your patient. Because I know that it reflects on you. It's really important to you that you, know, you didn't refer someone off and the guy was a jerk over there kind of thing. We would want to know about that if they were having a bad experience. And we want to be able to help take care of that. But we want to go deeper and find out exactly what the problem is related to their hearing loss with that. And that's exactly what we can do. Now, there are Medicare guidelines that every physician has to happen. Now, let me, let me give an example. One of my hearing aid dispensers, he's, a, uh, he's our home call specialist, just turned 65. So then he signs up for Medicare and then he's looking for a supplement. But did you know that when a person, a new person getting Medicare um, sign up, he actually has to be checked out on several levels related to, you know, cardiological issues and, and you know, r rheumatology issues. I mean, just, you just keep going on and there's a whole bunch of different areas. Hearing and vision also has to be dealt with. So when you have a new patient and they have they're, they're new to Medicare, they're newly Medicare on, minted to Medicare, they need to have a hearing evaluation. And that's something that we can help you with with that. No, if the patient's fine, hey, that's great. But we want to be able to check that person out to know what's happening with that. So I think 
it, you know, if you're a patient or if you're, or if you're the physician, there's a lot of big role that, that can come in here and we can kind of bridge that gap when it comes to ear issues that come up. And we're always here for you. So we're at heartulsa.com or at 918-388-6644. And our fax number is 918-388-6645. So you can always fax us over that referral with that. We appreciate you doing that. We want to be here for you and we will give you a great report. Thank you so much.